Hello everybody, Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds, and today I'd like to share with you another car that I recently uh, have, was searching and uh, luckily found the car. Uh, it's been hidden a long time and, and was able to make a purchase on this really cool uh, holy grail of a 67 Chevelle, one of the 612 RPO L78, 396, 375 horsepower. Uh, and the body is uh, all original condition, a uh, no hit body. I wouldn't say absolutely rust free, but it is low, 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 super solid car. Um, never seen the inside of a body shop from what I can tell. Uh, the original engine, the original transmission, original rear axle, uh, the interior. Uh, the, the car was found about uh, two to three years ago uh, by the most recent owner and, you know, with the flat tires at the usual barn find. And uh, he uh, dressed up a few things on the interior. The interior was pretty bad with, you know, some rat's nest and so forth and so on. But it really is a cool super survivor that I was able to locate uh, in the East Tennessee mountain area that's been there uh, its entire life. Uh, so we'll go around this video really quick. Um, I'm out here, uh, should be all alone uh, for a while. So, and it's quiet out here, so you can hear me well. So I picked this location for a video um, and we can get on with it here before the lighting goes away. But again, only 612 of these RPO L78s were made in 67. And this one is finished in, uh, of course, Marina blue with blue interior. And you can see the original engine is still in place. Um, the original uh, car is still in place, dated the fifth, third week of May. This is a fourth week of June. Um, not many people are aware, but the L78 option was pretty much discontinued and was not offered uh, to the general public sometime in uh, April or May-ish is when it was available again. So you generally won't see L78 67 Chevelles built before May. I'm not saying there might be some, but generally most of them are May, June, and July cars. This one being the fourth week of June. And so, of course, you can see the big 396 with the aluminum intake, which is really, really cool. And uh, all of these L78 cars come with a big four row radiator. Um, usually, which I haven't been able to investigate yet, but I, I believe the VH code would be a finger guard car. So this fan shroud does appear like it's possibly repo and been added. So this VH, and it probably was a finger guard at one point, but I can, if you can focus right there, you can see the VH. You also can see the uh, five blade with the four rivet 276 fan with the swisher I guess I pronounced that right, Switzer uh, fan clutch, which is really cool um, to L78 cars in 67 and 68, I believe so. It, it also carried over into 68. And then also you can see the correct fan pulley for this. If I can focus on the, the code, I believe it's facing up right now. I generally, I can't do that. But anyways, that will be in the photos that I will post to the car. You can see the master cylinder was changed. So what happened was, is this is your typical barn find that was sitting for X number of years and the person got the car running, got the car up and going. He was smart enough not to paint the car, smart enough to use most of the original, not, you know, uh, restore everything, leave everything as original as possible. So this, I really did applaud that guy for a lot of what he did. So anyways, let's focus here on this engine stamp if i can there you go uh june the 16th eg and we have some great shots of the brooch marks on the authentic atlanta stamp 7a 175 704 really cool car here all four wheels are date are stamped correctly with the a3 on the left side of the of the valve stem and the six on the right side of the valve stem as well. So let's go over the cow tag like we usually do. Of course, like I said, the brake master cylinder has been changed. This is a pretty much a bare bones race car here. Uh, the only options that I can see on this car is the 396, 375 and the M21 and then tinted windshield and deluxe seat belts, I think. So let's go over that real quick if i don't have too much glare you see the 67 at the top left you can see the 06d 
And then 67, 138, 17, of course, is the body style. And I try to come around to the right side of this washer hose. It's always in the way. And you got the 18018 body, 729 for medium blue bench, A for bench seat. Over here to the right, FF or for marina blue upper and lower. And then you have W for tinted windshield and two for group two and Q for the uh, infamous cool M21 and then five for group five and then Y for deluxe seat belts. And I think the rest of those are data processing numbers. Really cool stuff. Really cool. I don't know how many 67 L78s exist today. A lot of you guys remember the red one that I did, was able to do out in Oklahoma. Really nice original paint car. Red with black interior. And so this one here is a, another example of the L78. And you can see the seat has been recovered and there's some new carpet in here. And then the dash pad is black, which that should not be black. But anyways, for the most part, this is a super solid car unmolested you can see the the age and the wear and tear but this is the types of cars that you like to find this is it anybody can find a restored car they're everywhere and thankfully the people that have been in control of this time capsule uh, have been smart enough not to restore this car i was told that back in about 07 or 08 the person who owned this car uh, I believe it was the original owner that was bought at Tar Chevrolet, uh, I think in Jefferson City, just outside of Knoxville. You can see the three on the Tennessee tag, which is also for Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, but at one time, this car was, the original paint on this car was even way better than it is now because they remember winning a lot of survivor type of accolades at a lot of the car shows. So, but we find what we find. It is really cool. Again, this is a Holy Grail 67 Chevelle. The rear axle would be KJ. I do believe that would be somewhat of a bait. It's a, it's a non-posi. Um, your, uh, your uh, you know, uh, example or, you know, explanation for why the person would get the L78 and, and upgrade to the M21, but not upgrade to the posi traction, your guess is as good as mine. But anyways, the car does have a correct KJ rear axle dated to the car as well. Go down the passenger side and open the passenger door for you. You know, what you see is what you get on these types of cars. Uh, these are the, the most sought after types of special high performance cars uh, in the world. Nothing, I can tell you because I have videoed all of it nothing compares to the draw and the desirability of a special high performance big block chevy type car whether it be a chevelle nova corvette camaro you name it but this is and pretty much can be considered a holy grail type 67 chevelle so i'll shut the passenger side door walk around here one more time and show you a little bit more of the engine bay and around the front side of the car. Check out the flash chrome on the, on the uh, air cleaner and on the valve covers. Valve cover bolts are all head marked with the P. You can see that focus very well. Here's the P on those course like I said the correct fan and clutch and water pump pulley and the lower single groove crankshaft pulley in place as well it also retains the correct 1111 1170 distributor uh, I think I will post that in the pictures as well on the social media sites Facebook Instagram but it is dated I think it's seven five two one right off the top of my head but i can't remember exactly but it is definitely the one 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 seven which most people refer to as the 1170 so 
super cool example here we have of a 67 Chevelle that I wanted to show to you that uh, I was able to make a purchase. So I'm going to start this car because, again, I think I've said it many, many times in the past. I get all sorts of people always asking me, why didn't you start it for us? Why didn't you start it? So I will do that. I'm not going to get out of this car with it running for safety reasons. Sounds really, really cool with the factory exhaust manifolds. That's pretty much music to your ears on a special high performance car. Retaining its original engine sounds that nice. Really cool. Car shows 68,000 on the odometer. I'd make a bet that that's real, but I don't see any way to, to prove that it ain't 168. But I can tell you from looking at the car, you know, the things that are still present. The chances that that's 68 real miles is, you know, above 90%, you know. So, uh, there's, I don't think there's any way to prove that it's not, uh, you know, a 168,000 mile car. But I can tell you by looking at the car all the way over top to bottom that it's pretty much the evidence is here that that's a real 68,000 mile car. So I hope you enjoyed the video of this car. Uh, I, I would do a little bit more in depth, but I'm out here in the middle and the, and the lighting is going down on us. So uh, I really appreciate all you guys on my channel. If you need assistance authenticating your Chevelle, especially 69 and 70 models, please reach out to me at pnichols26 at Yahoo or Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds on Facebook and YouTube. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy this holy grail one of 612 1967 SS396 L78 Chevelle video. Thank you. More videos coming.